sun is shining today. Can you see how bright it is in here? It's so nice for getting ready, but I have had a lovely morning. I got nice and early. I've done my workout, had a shower, washed my hair, ready for a day of filming, to be honest. I'm going to be filming some like outfit reels, some TikToks, um, and I'm hoping to... I've got a couple of like sponsored bits I need to film, but I'm hoping to kind of wrap things up as early as possible so that I can beat the sunset and try and get out for a hack because honestly owning horses and riding in the winter when it's just dark by the time you finish work is just oh, it's really i know it's like such a first world problem i'm here i'm not whinging it's just i'm just ready for a lighter evening to be honest so yeah i'm gonna try and beat that and get out so that I'm actually riding in daylight, which would be nice for a weekday. Anyway, I just thought I'd vlog today and show you kind of a bit what like a normal day in the life is. And yeah, I thought we could have a nice catch up because I've not really vlogged much um, in January. So yeah, it'd be nice to have a little uh, little catch up. But I'm just going to start doing my skincare. I've been using, um, this isn't really skincare related, but I've been using the rapid brow and rapid lash serums um i got them just off i think i got them on beauty bay or look was it look fantastic one of them so yeah i've been using the brow serum obviously on my brows it's just supposed to help with growth please don't ask me if they work because i have not been using them long enough yet but i suppose time will tell so yeah hopefully in what six weeks i'll have like whew, spider's legs lashes but no i'll keep you um keep you updated as to whether this works i'm not using them particularly because i think i haven't got very long eyelashes or good like brow hair i just kind of wanted to see if it would make a difference i'm just going to use a little bit of ule henriksen banana bright eye cream i've been doing the um caroline i don't know if it's caroline Gervin or Gervin. I'll link her in the description box. I've been doing her home workouts now. I discovered, I'm sure I've mentioned this on vlogs before. I discovered her a few months ago when I cancelled my gym membership because I wasn't going, I wasn't motivated to drive to the gym. So yeah, I just wanted to work out from home. And so I've been sticking to her workouts. Obviously, had a little break over Christmas, so it took a little bit of getting back into, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm getting to a good place now, which feels nice. I'm just going to do um, more of like a gentle skincare routine this morning. I'm not going to use, let's move this hair out of the way. I'm not going to use a toner or anything like that because I was in London yesterday. I'm just using the Murad Vitamin C Serum. But yeah, I was in London yesterday and whenever I'm, I go down to London, I don't know what it is, but like yesterday in particular, I was going from the like freezing cold, like above ground weather then jumping on tubes where it's quite hot and quite sweaty and then when i was on the way home on the train i could just feel my chin like getting congested i could you know you just touch your face and i'm like oh i thought i'm gonna have a, a couple of spots or pimples here tomorrow i could just feel my skin like clogging and i do have quite sensitive skin and i know it's so well now i know when i'm gonna have a breakout so i got some good old paula's choice on it last night the um sicilic acid and as you can see no breakout and my skin it feels flat it doesn't feel like there's going to be a congestion so i think i've nipped it early but because i've used that and it is quite strong i'm not going to use any acids i'm not going to use any like toners or anything on my face today just keep it super hydrating so i'm also going to use the drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream which is my moisturizer that i love from them it is on the more pricier side for what you'd say is just a moisturiser, but it has all of the good anti-aging, as it says on the tin, polypeptides, all the good stuff that um, some moisturisers just don't have. And you know, sometimes I think every little helps. So there we go. And that's the main, main bulk of my skincare. Oh no, SPF, <laughs> literally had it sat in front of me. So I'm gonna use my good old Goldie, which is my Misha waterproof sun milk, SPF 50, doesn't matter what time of year it is, I'm always SPF 50. Especially being outside with the dogs, the horses, it's um, it's an essential for me. And it is actually a bright sunny day today, so it is definitely more needed. I find as well with my skin with some SPFs that I've tried, um, as I've said, my skin is sensitive. 
I sometimes feel like some SPFs can clog my skin a little bit. So I just love this sun milk because it's so, it doesn't feel like you're wearing SPF, but it definitely does its job. Okay, now to dry my hair. I washed my hair with the Colour Wow. What's it called? I think it's like the Colour, basically like their Colour Protecting Shampoo and Conditioner. I find it really nice on my blonde bits. I think there's like a big misconception when it comes to hair, blonde hair anyway that you have to use like a blue or a purple shampoo to get that vibrancy back. Like it's just not the case. You can get the same color and vibrancy in shampoos that aren't bright blue or bright purple. Because the problem is a lot of purple and blue shampoos, they, um, one, they contain sulfates, which is not that great for your hair. It's very drying. Also, you're not supposed to use sulfates on hair extensions, which I have in. Um, and yeah, it just kind of does the opposite of what you'd want your blonde hair to do so as much as a purple shampoo might give you that instant like change of tone it's they're so drying it's really hard to find good ones i feel but the color wow it's not purple it's not blue but it's very very good on blonde hair it makes my blonde hair actually have a shine which all my blonde girls will know it's hard to make blonde hair look shiny and not just dry like straw do you know what i mean so i've used their shampoo and conditioner on my hair as i always do and then I always use this product as well just before I blow dry. Let me grab it. So when my hair is still wet but not like absolutely dripping wet, I use the Colour Wow Dream Cocktail. This is the coconut infused one. It's just like a leave-in, um, not a leave-in conditioner, but um, like a leave-in serum. And I put it on, as I said, when my hair's like this. I'm just going to use it now. Let's get a couple of pumps and just run it through my hair and it just makes it so silky so soft with um with this just make sure if you do wear extensions obviously don't use serums and stuff by the roots well even if you don't wear ex extensions you shouldn't use them by the roots just in the kind of mid to ends and then i am going to go in and blow dry my hair with my dyson air up i always use in fact let me just quickly film it i'm actually going to sit on the floor because you probably be able to see the sun's coming round, and i feel like i'm going to be really like whitewashed in a minute so i'm gonna move to the floor and dry my hair just had this dressing room done i'm sat on my new chair and now i'm going back to sitting on the floor can you see i'm literally hiding from the sun which is just ooh, above my head um definitely the next purchase for this room will be a blind because <laughs> when that winter sun comes through oh it's so bright and so what i tend to use is dyson air app i use the normal um hair dryer head first and kind of just roughly dry the majority of my hair and then i'll switch to the smoothing brush and this pretty much straightens my hair for me it just means that i have to like straighten my hair a lot less um, it makes your hair a lot more manageable to start like the actual styling process when you come to do it there we go i'm not moving again now right so i'm just gonna crack on and get dry in this hair <laughs> And then when it gets to this point where it's almost dry but not quite, I'm going to switch to the smoothing brush and then run over it with this. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever See what I mean about it literally straightening my hair for me. At the same time, feel so right There we go, and as you can see, straight hair. I haven't touched my hair with a straightener this morning. It's nice and shiny, soft, sleek. Like I said, it just gets your hair at a really nice starting point for the day. I mean, I could happily just leave my hair like this, but I am filming today, so I do want to pop a little wave in it. Also, I can't believe how long my hair has got. Like, look at the length of that. I'm in like a dilemma about what to do. I don't know whether to just take maybe like a good four inches off and go just like that. Then is that too short? I don't know. I think maybe two inches I need off. I have got a hair appointment next week, which I'll take you with me to, but yeah. And then I was also debating, do I want to go blonder? Do I just want to go blonde? Do I want to keep my brown root? All these big life changing decisions. Before I go down and make myself some breakfast, I'm going to do a quick face of makeup. I'm not going to do that on camera today, just because I think I'd rather just film a more in-depth separate like tutorial video so that i can actually talk to you about the products otherwise this vlog's going to end up being about two hours long okay makeup done time for some breakfast i'm just wearing this uh, really comfortable like two-piece um like loungewear set from sweaty betty i love the fact it's got thumb holes in 
just so comfortable, so nice. I've been working with Sweaty Betty for the first time um, this year. I have bought from them before, but I've never um, worked with them. So very exciting. But yeah, this set is from them. I think it's just really, really nice. Really nice. Anyway, I'm gonna make some breakfast. So just been having some porridge in the morning for breakfast. Just the Quaker Oats So Simple Original. So grab this out and then Sometimes I also add, once it's made, add a little dollop of jam just in the middle. And oh my God, it's so, so good. So I'm gonna make this. I'm also gonna make myself an iced coffee. I know it's freezing cold, but I just prefer iced coffee. I just really, really like it. I'll be fine, but I get up. I always do. I never think I always do. Never thought I would not jump. Sorry if you can hear, is it Desi? Desi, eating a breakfast. Um, I thought I'd just give you a quick update, like a house, a house update. The room that I'm currently in, kind of like the family area, separate to the living room, let me show you. Basically the sort of like family area that joins onto our kitchen and dining space. We, me and Andy kind of have sat down and basically kind of planned out what we want to do in the house like this year. Um, obviously we um, did a fair bit, in the first sort of like six months but now going into a new year we've kind of sat down and been like right this is what we want to do so you guys will know we got this sofa um last year hello darling was that nice <laughs> we got this sofa last year um and then it just got the coffee table and the rug other than that it looks pretty bare it looks it looks a bit sad to me it's a bit sad it's a bit beige it needs some colour and some life and yeah, just needs finishing off. So this is going to be the first area that we really um, like dedicate ourselves to. So this whole area will be getting a bit of a transformation, I think. We're going to be um, panelling the walls, sorting out this side as well. So it's not literally just a wall and a TV and just really dressing it. So I want to get some obviously really nice cushions for on here um, to sort of like style the coffee table and um, get some furniture for here. So yeah, this is gonna be the next part of the house that we do essentially. And then if we go through here, I can't remember if I actually ever showed you um, our downstairs loo when um, the mirror, since the mirror has been put up. So I know I definitely showed you um, in here when we were decorating and doing the wallpaper. But yeah, since um, we put the mirror up, obviously just added some little bits of greenery in there. And yeah, I'd say this is probably the most finished room, probably the only completely finished room in the house. But yeah, I'm really like loving how it's looking. The mirror is nice and big. It was just from Dunelm and it was just the perfect size. So yeah, really good find, not very expensive at all. So this room is, I'd like to say done. And then if we come into the living room, again, it just needs sort of like finishing. We've got the main bulk of everything. We've obviously got our sofas, we've got the coffee table, but we just need it to look more finished, more full. So this room will also, it's also very bare in that corner. We need to get a nice chair. So yeah, this room will also be getting a little bit of a bit of an overhaul. I think our main plan is to kind of bring downstairs to a more, I mean, I know your house is never really finished, is it? Let's be honest. You're always chopping and changing things and updating things. But I think we just like to get the whole of the downstairs, the more social areas, a little bit more finished this year. So yeah first rooms of the house are going to be that family area in there and then our living room as well and also i can't currently take you in there because andy's working but we also want to do andy's office as well this year and get that just to a really really nice point because i've sort of got my office upstairs we will eventually do that but andy's not really had anything done to his office yet mainly because he can't make up his mind about what he wants to do but we've put our foot down and we're going to get that done as well as I said, it'd just be nice for the whole of the downstairs, the main the main kind of areas that we socialise in and when people come round, they see first. We'd just like them to feel a bit more, you know, finished. But yeah, just so you guys know the plan about what we're doing in terms of the house, I'm really thinking, I'd like to know whether you guys would like this as well. Because when we first moved in here, well, the day we moved in, I filmed 
a house tour. We moved in back on, I think it was the 1st of July we actually moved in. And I'm, I filmed a house tour, obviously, when the house was completely empty. I'm kind of thinking maybe on the 1st of July this year, I'd film an updated one. Obviously, God, this is so far in advance. But I was just thinking I could film an updated one and do, like, one year on and kind of show show the kind of progression that we've made. And also, I think it will give me a kick up the bum to get some rooms looking more up to scratch because then I'll have it in the back of my head that I want to film an update video and I want the rooms to look nice for it so let me know if you'd like to see that. I thought while we're on the subject of the house I would show you some new bits that I picked up. I actually picked these up last weekend from HomeSense. I didn't vlog it guys I'm sorry I was, it was a very um, spontaneous just last minute dash in. Me and Andy were at B&Q grabbing some paint and it's literally over the road so I said oh my god can I pop in haven't been in there since they had obviously all the Christmas stock in. So I wanted you to have a quick look and I picked up some really cute just little bits. I didn't get much but I wanted to show you these I did get because I just thought for home sense, wow, such good finds. I picked up two coffee table books. So I got this one, The Foraged Home, which is so gorgeous to like flick through. The interiors in here are just so, so lovely. They've got some amazing ideas. Such a lovely book. And it obviously looks very, very aesthetic, very nice. Got a nice um, spine. And then I also got this one, Country and Cozy. Again, the spine is lovely. And I just love the images in here. Look at that. So, so nice. And I can't believe how good on price these were. I mean, look at that. I think this one was 25 and usually prices for good coffee table books are like 30, 40 pound. So I think this was 25 and this one was 18. So I got these because I thought they could sit on top of each other and would look really nice on our console table. And then I also picked up this um, dark green velvet cushion. Um, and the basket I picked up because I wanted something to go again on the console table at the bottom of it because there's an ugly plug that you can see. So I wanted to get something nice that will just sit in front of that so that you won't be able to see it anymore. So I'm going to go and quickly pop these on the console table and show you how it looks all styled together. And then this is what it looks like all styled up. Bolly being my model. <laughs> Bolly, we don't want to see that. Thank you so much, darling. So, yeah. <laughs> Are you being my model? Thank you so much. So, yeah, this is what it is looking like. The console table is from Still and Bloom. Put the books on there. I've got a lovely brown dip tea candle, which was actually one of our presents from Andy's mom. And it looks so lovely. I love all the colours together. This is what I mean about the ugly plug. See, no one wants to see that, so. I thought this would be a nice way to disguise that. So now you can't see it and it just looks like a nice styled console table. Are you okay, my darling? <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Look at these fluffy bear paws. Oh my gosh, fluffy bear paws. <laughs> Meanwhile, this little madam's been sunbathing in the window, haven't you? <laughs> sunbathing my little woman oh my little woman it has been a few hours since i last spoke to you and i've filmed had a very productive um day so far i've got lots of bits filmed lots of stuff that i just needed to get done i've done some admin a little bit of editing apologies about this dusty mirror i've just realized how bad it is that is gross i need to give it a dust this is the last outfit that i have shot for today H&M box still in the background. I'm just wearing my new H&M denim shirt from my recent haul and I've just paired it with some black, uh, not leather leggings, black leggings, my ankle, flat ankle boots from Love Raid and then my long black coat from Naked and I just, I'm really liking the kind of blue and black kind of vibe. And then I did also have on my new beanie hat from Zara. Let me put the whole look on for you. There we go. This was the whole look with my sunglasses and my new black beanie hat. And then my black coach bag. Love, 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 love this look. Um, I've been filming a few reels. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, then give me a little follow. 
Also over on my TikTok, I'll share like extra outfits, just extra little updates. Um, but anyway, I need to give this, uh, give the dressing room a quick tidy, just put my stuff away. I'm then gonna edit one of my reels and get it live for right now. And then I'm gonna head to the yard and go and get flickering because it's such a lovely day. I can't wait to go out for a nice hack. So yeah, I thought I'd take you along with me and give you a little flicker update and just, yeah, show you a little bit of her because I feel like she's not really been on my vlogs much. Just while I'm tidying the dressing room and before I forget, let me show you this new um, jacket that I got from, I got it from ASOS Marketplace. So on there, they do loads of like pre-loved, um, some stuff's like vintage, just there's some really cool stuff on there and I've never bought anything from there before. And I decided to have a little look on there and I found the most gorgeous, gorgeous leather jacket. I, let me show it you. It's so beautiful. This is it. So it's kind of got a little bit of a collar on it. It was um, over from Canada, it said, but it's just gorgeous. It's that proper like vintage style jacket that I look for from like high street retailers online stores and i've just not been able to find that like this like this was the vision that i've had and i've just not been able to find it oh my gosh so when i found this on asos you best believe i was having it it's just so lovely i know it won't be everyone's cup of tea but i just i just think it's so gorgeous it's literally the leather jacket that i have been looking for i love that it's a bit worn it's a bit battered it looks like it's been in my wardrobe for years and years, or my boyfriend's wardrobe for years and years. It's that proper dad style. I just love it, anyway. I just wanted to show you because as I was like tidying the dressing room, I was like, oh my God, I've not shown this on YouTube but I need to show it. Um, so yeah, if I don't know if I'll be able to link it or not. I'll try if there's ones like still, like this still available. But, um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you, but there you go. Just having a quick lunch before I head off to see Flicker. So we had some chicken that needed using up. So we've got um, chicken tikka, just a bit of salad, some flatbread, and then I've also got a bit of tzatziki here. But I'm gonna quickly eat this and then we'll be off. Guys, I've just got you on the on the GoPro on my chest. But yeah, we just I'm just taking around for a little leg stretch, just on a nice little hack. Because we're um, we're actually going cross country schooling tomorrow. Um, so we're going to a nice arena with some cross country fences. So she's going to be doing her favourite thing, which is jumping. So yeah, nothing too strenuous today. Just a nice little nice little jolly walk around the village, just to stretch her legs. I know, there's some builders down there, have you seen them? <laughs> seen her ears go straight up, like, what's that, Mum? I can hear them, but I can't see them. You're all right. She's nice and trusting, though, now. I feel like we've really developed a good bond over the winter. And if I tell her something's okay, she doesn't seem to question it too much. She'll have a little look, but she'll always go past it if I tell her it's all right. Uh, some building works down here, so this might be interesting. Now, well, that wasn't there before, was it? Yep, so we've got the builders here on the left. She's not really had a look at them, to be honest. You can hear them, can't you, darling? I don't think you can actually see them. You're all right. You're all right. Good girl. I know you can hear them. Good girl. You're all right. Good girl. Walk on. 
There you go. Good girl. I know, a bit scary that was. Because you can hear them, can't you, darling? You can't actually see them. You're all right. You'll be able to see them in a minute. Good girl. You're all right. Good girl. You're all right. I can see you keeping your ear on them. They won't hurt you. Look. There you go. You can see them now. Oh, and she had a big sigh. Like, oh, that was silly, wasn't it? Oh, look at the nice view down here. Also, guys, this probably sounds really daft. Actually, no, it's not daft. I know a lot of you guys on here are very much animal people as well. But um, when I'm out on my own with her like this, I do literally just sit and talk to her pretty much the whole way around. Because the more familiar she is with your voice, well, any horse, the more familiar they are with your voice, the more comforting it is to them. So if they get used to the sound of your voice and know that it's you up on top of their back, they're just a lot more likely to trust you and listen to you. Girl, you want me? Yes. Oh, she's like, thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. Is that nice, sweetheart? Hello, sweet girl. Is you a good girl? You want? <laughs> she's like, give me another one. You want another one? Right, I'll give you one more. Just because you're really good. Oh, got it. Got it. Good girl. No, but nice. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, well, that was a lovely little ride. Lovely way to end the day and I'll beat the sunset. It's just going going down now, so I am now gonna get back. There's just something so nice about finishing work, out on a nice hack. Um, but yeah, tomorrow morning, we're actually going out for some cross country schooling to have a bit of fun, doing Flicker's favorite thing, which is jumping. So I've told her that's what we're doing. She seems very excited. But anyway, I am going to get home. Uh, we're having, oh my God, we've got such a nice dinner for tonight. We're doing homemade, like, thank you. We're doing like homemade um, poke bowls, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Um, I think I might have to pop out actually to grab the salmon. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and do that. Let's do that. And then I'm going to get home and make some dinner. It's been a couple of hours since I last picked up the camera, but... We are having a TV dinner tonight, so we've made delicious poke bowl. We actually went to Waitrose and got some of their like sushi grade raw salmon. We've got avocado, there's some cucumber under here that you can't see. Some rice, some spring onion and some sesame seeds and obviously some soy. So super yummy, healthy dinner. We're about to put uh, the traitors on. Me and Andy have been so obsessed with the traitors, like the UK version. We binge watched the whole thing, finished it, and now we're starting, well, we have started the American version. It's just so addictive. We literally can't get enough of it. So we're about to put an episode of that on while we eat our dinner. I am honestly, I'm not even just saying this, we are so obsessed with the traitors, I am honestly tempted to apply for the second season and go on it. Like, I think I'd be really good on that. Andy doesn't think I would be very good, do you? No. Why? I think I'm really good at sussing out liars. Do you reckon? Yeah. I think I'd be really good on there. I don't know if I could be a traitor. Actually, no, I think I could. I don't think there's any point going on unless you can be a traitor. Yeah, I know. It's like the main character, isn't it? No, I think I could. I'd really love to. I'd love to have a go. Anyway, we're about to watch this. I'm going to eat my dinner. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here, guys, because there's not much else to my day. I'm just going to do my skincare routine and get into bed. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little catch up kind of like day in the life style vlog um i'll be picking up the camera again soon anyway but yeah let me know if there's any videos from me you do want to see in the meantime but as always guys i'll see you in the next video bye